So amongst this injustice, and it is a proper injustice, uh, people have been saying we need sound money, meaning we need money that is not going to be able to be uh, perverted or changed. Mm -hmm. And and the you know probably the the number one thing that people have been turning to, uh, other than precious metals, have been cryptocurrencies because the way in which the code is written, it seems like it's very hard to increase the total number of 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 coins. Um, I I uh, have a number of you know concerns with with uh, cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular. That's the biggest, most trusted for the most part. Uh, there are like you know second generations you know coins that are doing better things, um, but my um, I, I you know to cut a long story short. I think my number one problem is that um, there is a tremendous amount of money that's going into creating the system. Like it takes a lot of energy to be able to uh, to actually make the computers function that will you know record the code mm -hmm. uh, and also the the supercomputers. The GPUs that are actively mining for new new coins, um, such as the so sources like projections have made it out to be about twenty billion dollars a year um, are, are is is being spent on cryptocurrencies and uh, or just 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 rarifying them, like making them kind of real because they're they're not they, there's nothing there's nothing tangible about it. It's what philosophers called pure potencies, mm -hmm. you know, things that only exist you know in in human activity. Mm. It's not like gold where it has like you know whether or not we know it's in in the cave, it's there. You know, um, this this has to involve human activity, energy, metabolic energy to be able to activate twenty trillion dollars. Twenty billion dollars is quite a lot of money. Um, I and so I it just doesn't make sense that money when it's supposed to be the measure of economic activity uh, it just doesn't make sense that it's competing with um, with real assets I mean mm -hmm. one example it's kind of I will end this here is that uh, El Salvador recently like made Bitcoin legal tender <laughs> and so it was really exciting and, and I am again I'm totally pro the sound money movement I think that these are like good you know, like a good orientation to have uh, but like, how on earth is the country going to incentivize people to use a coin that you know they have no ability to generate? Well, they have to like start mining it themselves. So sure enough, what do they do? They you know got all these computers, and they had to be <laughs> able to get uh, a proper energy source, you know, to be able to because it, it is a ton of energy. More, there's more energy being utilized by the Bitcoin network than the entire country of Argentina expends annually. I mean, it's a ton of wow. energy that you need. And so they were, uh, what they did is that they drug into the base of their volcanoes for geothermal energy. And, you know, by, by projections, they had used up about 16% of their geo, the available geothermal energy at those volcanoes. Uh, just, you know, by one decision by their president, um, who once held the uh, the Senate hostage with the army and said, the only reason I don't shut you down now is because God has told me not to. I mean, the guy is like... <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, pretty sweet. Yeah, baller. Uh, <laughs> or a tyrant, you know, one of the two. And uh, <laughs> he... Um, uh, but you know the there's a there's a twenty five percent energy deficiency in El Salvador uh, year over year and and the majority of of companies leaders say that energy shortage is like the number one reason why the the country has not been able to advance more than it has. It's like that just seems stupid to me. I mean, you don't have to be a, you know an economist to be able to think a brilliant economist to say that that seems disordered. Mm -hmm. We should not be creating currencies that compete uh, with with natural resources that we need. So that's what I think about Bitcoin. So you're against it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, well, I'm for sound money, but I don't think cryptocurrency is the best best form of sound money. Mm -hmm. Just because mm -hmm. this is something I've done some research into, there's, there, it's a kind of complicated conversation too, because the main like power draw thing is from that like previous model of, it's called proof of work, which mm -hmm. is like, it takes a lot of power to power. Yeah. Um, and it's not just mining new ones. It's also whenever a transaction happens. That, That's correct. That goes on on a network of, computers that are all on the, you know, on the chain. Um, and then, but it's a, a, you know, big goal of, uh, you know, newer cryptocurrencies to have, um, it's called proof of stake. And then there's like proof of storage ones, which you just have to have hard drive space for. So there's different, like the eco concern is a big real concern, mm -hmm. but 
uh, there is, you know, hope, I guess, against that to have some reasonable, you know. Yeah, no, I think I think that's I think that is valid. Um, uh, yeah, that is valid to to a certain extent. I would just encourage people to. Who are thinking about that, I just I would encourage them to turn back to um, something like Laudato Si. I mean, Francis, you know, he's. He's not one He's many of us Jacob. over us. Yeah. <laughs> Bad hombre. Uh, he, uh, he hasn't won many of us over, but I think that there are some very powerful things that he says there, especially when quoting Gordini about our techno, techno, technological age, and where we always think that just one more advance, advancement is going mm-hmm. to be our savior. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, I just don't really think that that's true. Mm-hmm. So. so what else I'd say, though, is that um, if I remember your... Uh, issue that you had with um, investing in the stock market, it, it was kind of there was like concerns about you know people putting money in places they don't really know what they're doing with the money and it's you know th- that's a radical like you know you should be more concerned and consider like you know locally uh, investing locally and actually doing things with your money. Um, but so so my question is, are there concerns about just kind of investing in crypto, just putting your, uh, outside of oh, yeah. ecological though? So separate from the like. You know, it's, you know, way too much power, way too much, you know, energy, even from like, you know, being bad for the environment. Also just, you know, there's so much like manpower going behind this and it's, it's you know, disproportionate. So outside of that concern, um, is there some kind of problem that you would see with Catholics investing in cryptocurrencies just because, you know, there's that rule of if you're making money, someone else is losing money um, and you're not actually <laughs> doing anything Necessarily, well, I don't know unless you think that it is constructive in some way outside of those concerns. Well, you say it so system. nonchalantly, but I think that's a pretty, um, I mean, that is a, a really powerful criticism that you just said. Um, yeah, I mean, this is actually quite a complicated issue, and I, I mean, I guess it's long, that's why we have long form, so I shouldn't hide behind that. Um, I, I, again, I want to just go back to saying that I think people are, are valid, validly feeling robbed you know the government by their printing habits are actively robbing us in the sense of what we have saved just because i'm not for saving for retirement does not mean i'm against savings um uh just because like what we have saved is not you know it does not have the same purchasing power that it once did and that is a form of robbery um so I, again, I, d- I really don't want to like, you know, castigate anybody for this. Um, when it does come to thinking about how we are investing, it, it it is tough when you're buying something that has no function in and of itself. I think that's that's a tough thing. So when it, when I trade, you know, a horse for some corn or whatever, a lot of corn that would have to be a lot of corn. <laughs> um, you know, there's there's some form of like real mutual benefit going on. There is like as as uh, Scotus talks about, blessed John Dun Scotus. Like there is there is a form of gift that is happening, and hopefully, when we are making a transaction with somebody, we are understanding that we are like giving them something, mm. and they are giving us something back. Mm. And hopefully, that will lead us back into a, a whole world of gift. You know, that's his hope. You know, and it's beautiful mm. hope. Um. Now, when you are trading something that doesn't have any essence you know that that is non and doesn't even have a um a tangible aspect to it then it's hard to say that your trade is really for a mutual benefit okay that's that's one that's kind of the first thing that i would say um and that's really just reiterating what you just which just said um the second thing that I would say is that there is there is a long, well, you know, in Second Thessalonians when Saint Paul talks about if you do not work, you shall not eat, mm-hmm. you know, and there's obvious like exceptions to that with like <clears throat> gifts received and, and whatever, um, but I think that does speak towards a Christian orientation towards uh, towards the connection between um, work and reward, uh, like labor and wealth, uh, that really did set the a course for the patristics, the early church fathers to follow, 
and for the scholastics to codify and, and consider well and then mm. to to bring into the rest of the in Christ, the rest of Christendom um and one and kind of within that vein you find St John Chrysostom and St Thomas um mention you know, like reciting St John Chrysostom and 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 holding true to it is that if you're just buying something only to sell it later at a profit with no work done to it, then then that really is just an exercise in greed. Um, we need to be checking ourselves for that. And when you buy something like cryptocurrency that has no essence to it, like, no, I keep using that word, I'm t- a bit too sloppy, but it, but it, you know, it has no uh, function outside of itself. It is just a pure potency. Uh, then there really can be nothing that we do to it, and all this stuff of proof of work and stuff. Mm-hmm. I, I mean that that really is, uh, I, I think, a bait and switch and equivocation of words. Um, and and I, you know, many many Bitcoiners will will agree with that. Um, some won't. We'll hear about that in the comments. But mm-hmm. uh, but I think that's just something that we need to be honest with ourselves about in in our um, considerations of our own soul. It's like you know, if if my vocation if my pre-lapsarian vocation the, like the one of the things that god told us told adam to do mm. in the garden before he fell was to till and work the land then there, there is something that will help cultivate virtue in in me through work and that in in this work is where i'm supposed to find the the fruits of of god mm. uh, you know and i'm not sure tr- you know there's many things i mean to to qualify in that but it, but that does that has been the the heartbeat of of the church uh, in the tradition and you read something like Laborum Exercens by John Paul II where he makes the same point uh, where where property like the true way in which one takes possession of something is by laboring for it he says um, that I think is should be just our first orientation and that if we don't do that there should be some sort of real exception that we have. Um, in our hearts and our minds. Mm. Does that answer the question a little bit better? Yeah, that's good. That's or more directly, maybe not better, mm-hmm. but more directly. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.